The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be reject rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this, he turned around and looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I remember two travelers who are best friends. Travelers who were in the road together. When suddenly, a bear appeared. No, niya mahakuyaw ba yung ang nalay mo kalit. O kana bitong tunga. Especially bear pagid. Both ran fast as they could as they could. One dashed to a tree by the side of the road, climbed up and hid in its branches. The other was not so nimble as his companion. He threw himself on the ground and pretended to be dead. Mo yang gihimo. The bear came and sniffed the man lying on the ground. The man kept uh, perfectly still and held his breath, knowing that a bear will not touch a dead body. And then the bear murmured in his ear and then went away. When the coast was clear, the traveler who hid on the tree went down and asked him, his companion, and you know, this, this is the question of his companion, what did the bear whisper to you when he put his mouth close to your ear? And the companion replied, he told me never, he told me never to travel again with a friend who deserts you at the first sight of danger. That's the response of the companion. Never to travel again with a friend who deserts you at the first sight of danger. You know, brothers and sisters, the story situates us to our gospel message today. And what's the message? The cross is the true test of our sincerity with regards to our friendship with Christ. Somehow, this is also real in our life. The moment we enjoy the grace of God, we always say, enjoy life. Go wherever you want. And you enjoy the resources and the, the gifts and the grace that God has given to you. But the moment we have difficulties in life, the moment our faith is being tested, what's the tendency? Our tendency also will lose our faith. And others would say, Paitas ginoo, Father, oy. Gisilutan mang ko, Father. Tuana. 
Nindot paganig kinabuhi, di giyog ka kahinom doms ginoo. Maglisod na gani, ang samay may tabo, paitas ginoo, Father Oy. Kahinom dom naman ka ginoo. You know, brothers and sisters, the message is very clear. The cross is the true test of our sincerity, of our friendship with Christ. The disciples, if you try to look at their lives, the disciples realized the friendship they had with Jesus. They were drawn into His life and enjoyed the privilege of belonging in the inner circle of Christ. Why? Because all of them, silang tanan, nakita, o gitagaan silang gahom, They, are, they have given the power to expel demons, to heal the sick. And that's the privilege that they have received in the inner cir circle of Jesus. But what happened? They enjoyed that for a moment. But the moment that Jesus speaks on another aspect of his life, and that is about suffering, and according to our gospel for today, He openly shared to His disciples saying, The Son must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. At first, they enjoyed their lives with Jesus. But after Jesus talked about suffering, on sa gihimo nila, According to our reading today in our gospel, Peter took him aside and re began to rebuke him. Gipalayo siya ni Pedro. And you know, this is something real in us also. The moment we have a test in our faith, ang atong himuon mo palayo na hinoon ta sa ginoo. No? Kung suyan ka sa ginoo, tagaan kag kalisod. Ang um, sa may atong buhaton, the more unta nga mo pa dool ta, ni palayo na hinoon ka sa ginoo. I have an encounter, especially when I was assigned in the other parish. Nga kada adlaw, he was praying. And not just praying, but every day, he attended the Mass. Every day. No? And then, After that, serving the church. Ni serve pag sa simbahan. But the moment nga nagkalisod-lisod siya, on sa may naitabo, dibiya sa katoliko. And according to this uh, parishioner of mine, lain kay Father ang ginoo na ay pinalabi. Imagine, And this is somehow, brothers and sisters, that we need to do in ourselves, especially in our response to the test of the Lord. Somehow, the question in our gospel for today needs our personal response. And according to the question, who do, do people say that I am? And the second question, but you, who do you say that I am? Something that tells us of our personal response. You know, it is easier to respond according to what the others say. But it is not easy to respond in our own way. No? Dali kayo nang mukuan ka, mutubag, kaya nga naman, naauban. Pero kung ikaw na ipatubagon, maglisod yung ka. According to one more senior, ingon na yun siya, kitang tanan, ganahan yung tang malangit. Diba? Pero ang atong atong gipuyan, no, ganahan tang malangit, pero ang atong kinabuhi, gipuyan na to ang pagka makasasa. Tinuod ba ya? Diba? Tinuod kay na, oy, kitang tanan, bisan kinsa na to din he, pangutan on ako, ganahan jug kang malangit. But, our response, how about our response? Our personal invitation of Christ, Ganahan kang malangit, pero ang, imo, ang imong gipuyan, pagka makasasa. Kung saan imo pagkalangit, anak? You know, brothers and sisters, this is somehow a good 
question for each one of us to reflect. Who is Christ really in us? Kinsa man di ang ginoo, diha nato. And I hope in our personal response, just like Peter, in our hearts we say, God, you are really the Christ because you saved me. No? Especially in my personal encounter with my difficulty and with my struggles in life. And I hope this, the story reminds us, especially in our relationship with one another. Nga kung panahon, labi na kung doon kay higala, nga panahon gani sa kaanindot, higala mo. Panahon sa kahayahay, mga langitan, mga suroy-suroy, kaon diri, kaon dito, muad tumuglaing lugar, you are friends. But the moment, this friend of yours, magkalisod-lisod na, mupalayo na noon ka, daghan kay kong nailhan anak mga isuon. We are friends in times of need. But in times of difficulty, paglisod lang dihan imo, kaya wako maglisod og ako. In times of difficulties, we are not friends. Og mauna yung naka, naka, alaot na tong mga katoliko kristyano and somehow today is national catechetical day kay nga naman, we cannot defend our faith when it comes to faith kay nga naman, lain lain mantag gituuhan mga katoliko kristyano nga imbis we defend our faith as one catholic amoy ngon man dahil ng uban ah ilaha lang na eh hindi ko mang ilabot ana ilaha lang na ah, tanawa Pero kung imong tanaw ng kinabuhi sa laing mga tao, labi ng lain o reliyon, sususagi na sila mga igsoon. Sometimes we question our Catholic faith. Pero nga nung lagi na, ang lakanan laging uban lagi, nga nung pakamatyan mang gina nila ang ilang pagtuo, nga klaro mang kaya nang giilad na sila, for instance, claiming, I am the Son of God. Kaklaro, anak, nga binuang, but why is it na they are very faithful? Gani, wag it sila mubiya. Pero kita, kung doon na lang gani, pare, nga makasa, kausa, inyo na yung social media. No, you know, I, 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 I was a victim of that. No, one day, I, I, uh, I helped someone, especially in their needs, Nga ang maong tiguwang nang inahanglan og pinoy anan ang among gihimo gipahimuan silag balay pero ang gihimo nila ilang gihi ila pagyong gi, gipaabangan ya yeah, imagine na wa silay balay kami mao inihimo silang balay ang ilang gihimo wa sila mupuyo sa ilang sa among gipahimo nga balay ila noong gipaabangan ah, giun sa gipaguna una and what's the end of my story the end of our story was kit kami maoy nahimong dautan ang mga pare nga nitabang. Why? Because there was a post in social media saying especially nga kanang maong tiguang gipriso man sa pulis kay diha so sa simbahan nang gukod sa among choir nagda og kutsilyo. So sa may nitabo agidakop sa pulis gipriso Ang gibutang dito sa social media, giingon dahil dito, kaluoy sa tiguang, gipapriso sa pari. Apatay ko eh. Imagine, kaluoy sa tiguang, gipapriso sa pari. You know, I was sad with the situation in which when I read the comment of everybody, especially Catholic, Roman Catholic, I was shocked. Kaya ano man, naingunay sila ay, may nang pamusilo na lang mga pariah, aron mahuman. Imagine, kasagaran yun, maoday yung giingon, may lang pamusilo na mga pariah, aron mahuman na. Mga maldito man rin ang mga pariah, huwag mga kasing-kasing. Imagine. No? And you know, brothers and sisters, this is our invitation. Especially, the question, who do you say that Christ in your life? 
No? Kinsa man gyud ang Ginoo diha sa imong kinabuhi. You know, the 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 response in our in our gospel for today of Jesus is very clear. The response of our faith. And according to our second reading, faith without action on sa giingon ni St. James is isulti ko dinyo. Faith without action is dead. Ang atong balikon, ha? Faith without action is uban di mo sulti ay. No. Tanawa, klaro ka itong giingon ni St. James. Faith without action, faith without words is dead. And I hope we lose something in ourselves for the sake of our faith. No? In order for us to be in the inner circle of Christ Himself. And this is our challenge, especially in this Sunday. I hope and pray, just, just like Peter, no? Just like Peter, we answer, especially in the question, but you, who do you say that I am? We answer truthfully and faithfully that Jesus is really the Christ. Amen.